Good morning. My name is Chris, and I'll be your examiner for the IELTS speaking test today. Can you tell me your full name, please? Good morning. My name is Hazel. Thank you, Hazel. Can I see your identification, please? Sure, here it is. Thank you. Now, in this first part, I'm going to ask you some questions about yourself. Let's talk about your daily routine. What do you usually do in the morning? In the morning, I usually wake up around 6.30, followed by a light workout or yoga session. After that, I take a shower, have breakfast, and plan my day. It's my most productive time, so I try to use it for tasks that require focus, like studying or responding to important emails. Do you enjoy your daily routine? Yes, I enjoy it for the most part, because it keeps me organized and productive. However, sometimes I wish I had more time for activities like reading or going for a morning walk. How do you usually spend your weekends? My weekends are more relaxed compared to weekdays. I often spend time with my family, catch up on hobbies like cooking or painting, and sometimes go out with friends. It's a good way to recharge before the week starts again. Do you prefer a busy schedule or a relaxed one? I prefer a balance between the two. A busy schedule keeps me motivated and helps me accomplish more, but I also value having some downtime to relax and reflect. What do you usually do in the evenings? In the evenings, I like to unwind by watching a TV show or reading a book. Sometimes I go for a walk or spend time chatting with my family. If I have pending tasks, like studying or finishing an assignment, I try to complete them before going to bed. Now, I'm going to give you a topic, and I'd like you to talk about it for one to two minutes. Before you start, you will have one minute to think about what you're going to say, and you can make some notes if you wish. Here's some paper and a pencil. Here's your topic, describe an online video in which you learned something new. You should say, when and where you watched it, what it was, 
why you watched it. And explain what you have learned from it. All right, please start speaking. One online video that I found incredibly useful was a tutorial on cooking Italian pasta. I watched it about two months ago on YouTube while I was sitting in my living room and scrolling through my recommendations. The video was hosted by a professional chef who explained every step in a clear and engaging manner. The tutorial demonstrated how to make a simple yet delicious pasta dish from scratch. It included tips on boiling pasta perfectly, making a creamy Alfredo sauce and adding just the right amount of seasoning. I watched it because I wanted to surprise my family with a new dish during the weekend, and Italian cuisine is one of our favorites. What I really appreciated about the video was how detailed it was. For instance, the chef explained how to avoid common mistakes, like overcooking the pasta or using too much cream in the sauce. After watching the video, I successfully recreated the dish at home, and my family loved it. From this video, I not only learned how to cook a specific recipe but also picked up general tips on cooking more efficiently, such as preparing all ingredients beforehand and tasting frequently. It was a practical and enjoyable learning experience. Let's talk more about learning from videos and online resources. Do you think watching videos is an effective way to learn new skills?
Yes, I think videos are an excellent way to learn because they combine visuals and audio, making the content easier to understand and remember. For example, if someone wants to learn a recipe or a craft, watching a video demonstration is often more effective than reading instructions. However, it's also important to ensure that the source of the video is reliable. Student How does learning from videos compare to learning from books? both have their advantages. Videos are interactive and can visually demonstrate complex processes, which is very helpful for practical skills. On the other hand, books are better for gaining in-depth knowledge and developing critical thinking, especially for academic subjects. I think the choice depends on the topic and the learning style of the individual. What are some advantages and disadvantages of online learning? Student, one major advantage is convenience. You can access online learning from anywhere and at any time. It's also cost-effective because many resources are free or affordable. However, a disadvantage is that it requires self-discipline. Without a structured schedule or direct interaction with a teacher, some people may find it hard to stay motivated. Additionally, the quality of online resources can vary, so it's important to choose reputable sources. Do you think online learning will replace traditional classroom learning in the future? Student, I don't think it will completely replace traditional classrooms, but it will definitely play a larger role. Online learning offers flexibility, which is ideal for working professionals or people in remote areas. However, face-to-face -face interaction and hands-on activities in classrooms are irreplaceable for certain subjects like medicine or engineering. 
A hybrid model, combining online and classroom learning, seems like the most likely future. Student How can people ensure they are learning effectively from online videos? To learn effectively from online videos, it's important to choose credible sources, like videos created by experts or organizations with a good reputation. Taking notes during the video and practicing what you learn immediately can also help reinforce the knowledge. Additionally, avoiding distractions, like notifications or multitasking, ensures better focus and retention. Thank you. That is the end of the speaking test.